Hello, welcome back for another lesson, lesson 21, Introduction to Reading Hebrew, Shir Chaf Aleph. Shir being the Hebrew word for lesson or measure, Chaf Aleph, Chaf being the Hebrew numeral 20, Aleph being the Hebrew numeral 1, Chaf Aleph 21, lesson 21. In this lesson, we are introduced with a new letter. This is a letter, again, where you have to follow the dot. So... This is the shin, S-H-I-N, shin. Shin has the sh as in ship. So when you, we'll address it in a future lesson. If it has the dot on the left side, it is sin, S-I-N. It has the s sound. So shin, and if it has the dot over here, it's a sin. But we're not doing sin now. Uh, yeah, we're not doing sin, we're doing shin. Thou shalt not sin in this lesson. You should only shin in this lesson. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Okay, number one. Sh, sha, she, 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 sho, shu, shu. Two. She, sho, tish, O, ish, aish, shmu, el. Three, sha, mash, shemesh, shemesh, shar, shir, shame, shabbat, or Shabbos in Ashkenazis, shabbat, shalom. For Moshe Shomer Shabbat Teshuva Teshuva Tshuva Tshuva means to repent. Five, a little song that we're going to sing. Um, okay, number four. Uh, line five, Shabbat Shalom. So this is a the title, I suppose. Shabbat Shalom. Six, Shlomo Shar Shir. Shlomo being the Hebrew name Solomon. Shlomo Solomon, same name. Shar Shir. Shar sings Shir, a song. Seven. Shem Hashir, the name of the song is Shabbat Shalom. The name of the song is Shabbat Shalom. Eight, Gam Shmuel Shar Et Hashir. Also, Shmuel Samuel Shar sings Et Hashir. He sings the song. Also, Gam Samuel sings the song. Nine, Gam Moshe Shar Et Hashir. Also, Gam Moshe Moses Shar sings Et Hashir. He sings the song. Moses sings the song. Ten Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Eleven Shabbat Shalom. Abba Shali. Shabbat Shalom. Abba Shelly, my father, my daddy. Twelve, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Thirteen, Shabbat Shalom, Ima Shelly. Shabbat Shalom, Ima, mommy, mother Shelly of mine, my mother. Okay, and now we have some vocabulary. Shar is the masculine, sings. Shir is the noun song. Shame it means name. Hence, Hashem. Hashem means the name. So, shame means name. Shabbat Shalom uh, means Shabbat Shalom, peaceful Shabbos. It says Sabbat. Okay, that's interesting. Sabbath. Okay, I think that's what they meant to write. Shali. My or mine means shali of mine. Shell ani of shell ani me. 
Shali is a contraction. Shlomo, Solomon, Shmuel, Samuel, and Moshe, Moses. Okay, let me jump back up here for Hashem. Now, you, when you'll hear Jews say, Baruch Hashem. Praise God, or bless God. You'll hear the, the, the name Hashem said frequently um, here and there. So a lot of it has to do with the context. So Hashem is a, uh, a parlance for, for God, um, meaning the name. So when we're referring to Hashem, we're referring to the God, we're referring to the, the four-letter name. So that is so. Whenever you hear that, we're not trying to replace the name. We're not trying. You know, that's so there's all kinds of canards out there. Um, we're simply we're saying that as a sign of respect because of the context. So if we're having casual conversation, or if we, you know, again, if we're not in the context of prayer, learning, or praise, then we will uh, refrain from saying any of the names. Now. You might ask, well, Baruch Hashem, isn't that praise? Uh, it means bless God. Well, it is, but uh, it also is, uh, you know, for better or worse, it has a certain automaticity to it. Um, so, uh, and, and also the context, we might be uh, in the street, we might be in, in places that aren't terribly respectful. So there's still um, sort of uh, the folk norms uh, uh, of respect uh, towards the name. So anyway, that's that. That's my spiel. I'm sure we'll get into that much later. Okay, call to Hatzlach HaRaba. Keep learning. Um, let me know if you need anything. Call to